All right, we're back. All right, Sam, we're excited to have you. So our next guest is passionate about education and passionate about nonprofits. So please put your hands together for Sam Lieberman. Thank you so much for coming out. Really appreciate it. Thank you. It's great to be back on the podcast. And I was very excited with all the talk about the reality shows before. Maybe there's some hope for me. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I think there is. Yeah. Right. Yeah. There's plenty of reality shows out there. You yeah. can, and you got the guy right here in the audience. That's yep. Too. Be good. Um, okay. So you know what? You have a life that really is worth knowing about. So let's start with um, the disability that you became and um, really what it is that uh, you've accomplished with your life. Okay, well, I've been in Nevada this summer. It'll be 35 years. And I came to go to UNLV, and I was there for a very long time. I graduated after an extensive number of years, more than 15, less than 20. <laughs> um, and I graduated with lots of different credits, more than 200 and less than 211. So, so you love learning, uh, huh? My, my final degree was in social work. I got very involved with the political arena, with the nonprofit sector, with the disability community, and most recently as a member of the University of Regents, University Board of Regents for the Nevada System of Higher Education. And my first meeting is early in the morning. So <laughs> okay. Well, that's great. And you're, so you, you said you bleed red on the uh, yes. pre-interview and I, you're a local Nevada? I like former UNLV President Don Snyder. Um, do bleed rebel red, <laughs> but one of the... You know how to win over the audience. Yes. You got it, yes. One of the uh, great challenges and opportunities of the Board of Regents is to be able to work statewide effectively and to build bridges between the North and the South. Okay, so and that, that's what I wanted to make sure I talked about. But in an in a entrepreneurial sense, one of the hardest things to do is get people to work with you, especially people that have tension um, with each other. So I want to say, like, for somebody who's tried to bridge the um, different parts of the state, somebody who's worked between Democrat and Republican lines, like, what are some lessons that we can use in our everyday lives and for startups to kind of get people to work together that usually don't, or build trust in somebody who's new to saying they're going to do something? Well, my... My focus has always been on consensus building. Years ago, I would dream of bringing people together who only knew me, who didn't know each other, and bring them around a table to solve problems and make the community better. It sounds like a reality show, but it's really how I live my life. And uh, we're going to apply it to doing great things at UNLV, at the... Uh, uh, colleges and universities throughout Nevada, and I've done it um, in the political arena across the state and in various nonprofits. I've been on the Board of Help of Southern Nevada for over 25 years. Um, I'm involved with the Alzheimer's Association, and because of my own life experience, I'm involved with the disability community through great organizations like Nevada Parents Encouraging Parents and Easter Seals Nevada. Hmm. Okay, so you just see a table and you're like, wow, i got to put some people around this right. thing. Right. You uh, convene Good different show. temperaments, talents, and convictions and different types of thoughts. And, if the and people you come out with a, a better process because there's more diverse people involved. Now, what if one guy says the other guy's stupid? then we educate them that they're not. OK. <laughs> I think that's a pretty good idea. Thank you. <laughs> OK, so tell me more about uh, what you've accomplished. What I've accomplished, I think that I've been able to, because I was never able to do competitive after school sports, my uh, social skills sort of went haywire a long time ago, and i be able began to collect people and bring people of multiple generations together. So I have friends, associates, and colleagues who are much younger than I am and friends who are a little bit older than I am, but I can build bridges, build collaborations, and I think that's what it's about if we're going to move our community forward together. And that's certainly what the Board of Regents is to make uh, higher ed, an opportunity for students, faculty, staff, and alumni to 
get degrees, to stay in Nevada, to become part of the workforce, and to raise their families here and start the circle again. So when we were doing our pre-interview, one of the things I was asking about is like, what's kind of like a call to action we could leave the audience with? And you said that it was to get involved with education. But before we you know, run out of time, I want to talk to you about like, how can people, I want to give you some time to explain that. Like, how would somebody actually get involved in education if they're passionate about it, which I personally am actually. And I'd like I, to I was know. very involved on our campuses as a student, as a faculty, as a volunteer, as a member of the Alumni Association, we asked for your time, your talent, and your treasure. And you can give that to uh, the department on a campus that is associated with your major or something that you want to see thrive in the community and you want to be part of. We need to engage uh, multiple aspects of the university and college system with the community. And the way to do that is to bring community members to the campus and to bring uh, campus leaders throughout the community. Okay, and then for the final question, um, just you've had a really um, unique experience throughout life, right? Like you talked about um, not having a disability, but, uh, or how did you phrase it? You said like, but being, um, I, I don't write at it, but it was like. My disability is part of who I am yeah. That is how I define myself. I also say that I uh, do sit-down comedy, not stand-up comedy, because it just <laughs> wouldn't be productive any other that's way. Good. Yeah, that's good. Um, and uh, I think it's all in the attitude and all in uh, the mental uh, way you look at things. You asked me what... Um, what makes me want to get up in the morning, what motivates me. Right. And I think that it's uh, enhancing the community through nonprofits, through higher education, and making everybody, no matter what their limitations may be, uh, do the best that they can with the tools that they're given. And that's what I've done um, throughout my life and for the last 35 years in Vegas. Good. Well, I think that's a great optimistic message to end with. Thank so you, So people can check you out on Facebook. They can go to Facebook and just type in Sam Lieberman, bring yes. up your page that way. Yes. Um, anything else you'd like people to know before we um, end the show for today? No, just please uh, get out of your comfort zone. Try something new. Uh, take a chance on a new organization that you feel passionately about. Get involved uh, with the political arena and make a difference in our community as the po as the downtown podcast has and will do. All right, thanks for the plug thank there. You. That's good. So thank you guys very much for coming out. Everybody, uh, you can always come down to the Schoolery live in downtown Las Vegas every Thursday at 9 o'clock. Check us out on downtownpodcast.tv. And thank you guys very much for coming out. We'll see you next week.